Okay, teachers, I'm going to show you how to make a form in a quiz format that marks itself. It sounds too good to be true, I know, but it isn't. Pay attention. So, first things first, go to your uh, dashboard, office.com, all right? So, office.com, sign in with your username and your password, and you will see your dashboard here, and you want to go to forms. You can also go to forms.microsoft.com, it's the same thing. So click on forms, it loads. All right, if it's the first time that you're doing this, it might pop up like a big message saying, create a new form. Please close that, all right? Because you're gonna create a form, but it's not going to be a, um, a quiz. So look over here, here we have new quiz. All right, so you close that window, you go new quiz. Not new form, a new quiz. We click on new quiz. Right, first things first, let's give our quiz a name, okay, quiz number, I don't know, what you can call it whatever you want, type in a description for your quiz, etc. Okay, uh, we can add pictures, don't forget, click on the little insert image, add a picture to your quiz. Add a question, that's the first thing we're going to do is add a question, so you click add question, you then choose what kind of question you'd like to add, is it a choice, multiple choice? or a multiple mark. So they can either choose one out of a selection or more than one out of a selection. Is it a text question? You can do text questions and you can give, they can answer with a word or, and you can then accommodate for spelling errors and things like that. So I'll give you an example of that. Rating will not mark anything. Date won't mark anything. You can click on the rest to see, but you are limited to choice and text if you want a proper self-marking quiz. So let's add our first question, it's a choice question. I clicked on choice. Question number one, you type in your question text here. Okay, question text, not, not I'm just typing that for fun. And you can provide an image, all right, for that question if you want to. Now you provide the options, the, so this will be um, a potential answer. Answer one. Answer two, and let's give a third answer, add option, answer three. Obviously this will have, uh, well, whatever you're doing for your subject. So now, please select which one is the correct answer. That's quite important. Otherwise, they're not gonna get marks. So you can see answer one, answer two, answer three. Let's say answer two is the correct one. So I'm gonna go to answer two, and I go and I click on the tick. There it is there. So now I can see, there's question text. There are my three options that is the correct answer. You have the option of providing feedback per question and per answer. So here you can see I can provide feedback. So if you click on that, you can say, yay, you got this right, or something like that. Okay, you don't have to, that's just uh, for you to play with. Okay, the next thing is to assign points to this question. How many marks is this question worth? So here at the bottom of the question, you see it says points, click inside there and we can give them two points for example. If you want them to be able to answer more than one option, multiple answers must be selected. If you want to force them to answer the question, they can't skip this question or submit the form without answering, you must click on required. That's very important. Okay, that in a nutshell is how you create a self-marking quiz. That's your first question. Let's look at another type of uh, question here. Add question and I'm going to do choice. That's the question, here are your options. Okay, I'm just gonna not type stuff to save time. And this one I'm going to make multiple answers. So I'm gonna enable that, multiple answers. You'll notice that these are now check boxes. They're not circles like the, like the previous question. They are now, and I can say, right, um, option number one and option number three. That is the correct answer. They need to get that correct to get the points. And let's say it's worth two points as well, and you can make it required. In terms of a text answer, let's look at that. Add question, text. So you've got your question, and then you'll have the answer. So let's have a look here. Um, question, uh, I'll just put text over there. That's fine. So let's add the answer. Let's see. Um, let's say that's the answer, and that's how it must be spelt. That is the correct answer. However, somebody might not be able to spell correctly, so we take that into account, and maybe they do something like that. 
Okay, so even if they type the, that, which is incorrectly spelt, they will still get a mark. So you can actually add a bunch of uh, responses that might come in from your learners, and it will accommodate for those as well. All right. If it's a long answer, that's going to be a text, like a sentence or two sentences. That's not going to mark itself, okay? That you have to sort of, um, yeah, you're going to have to mark that yourself, okay? But there you go. And when you are done, if you'd like to see how you can now get this out to your learners, we go to share. There, just under my picture. Share. And we can select only people in my organization can respond or anyone. You can decide who you want to share this with. And there is a link. You copy that link and you can then email that to your learners. Or if you really wanted to, I'll just show you here. I'll just bring in my screen here. Let's say uh, you wanted to share it with your class in Teams. It's actually very, very easy. If you go to your team and you have a look here, you've got all your tabs at the top. The form has already been created. So if I go here and I add a tab, I'm going to click on add tab. And I'm going to go and choose forms. There it is there. It opens up the forms. And this is what's so cool. Because the form has now been created already, we've, or our quiz has been created, we just say add an existing form. So I click on add an existing form. And the first form there is the one I just made. Quiz number five. Watch this. I'll click on that. Click on save. I, just, I want to show you what it looks like. Watch this. And it actually loads inside that tab. And your students can then go in their team and do the quiz right there and then without even having to worry about it. That's so cool. Instead of having links that you send to everyone. Okay, so that's that one. And that is forms that mark themselves. If you want to go back there, you click on forms. You'll see here is the quiz over there. If you want to edit the quiz, click on the quiz. Go back to forms. If you want to delete this quiz, you don't need it any longer. Always remember those three dots. That's always options or settings. And you can click and delete that. And there you go. Now, when the quiz has been done, you will see that the responses are recorded here in the responses section. I'm in my form here. I can go and click on responses. You will see all the responses are here. You can then review the answers, okay? And then post the scores when you are done. Posting the scores means making the scores available for each learner to see what they got, what they got right, what they got wrong, etc. That's, that's what post scores mean. Review answers, that's for you, so you can manually go through, double check everything is correct. If there were text-based answers, like a sentence or two sentences, you can then mark that there right away and put the marks in as well. And then when you're done, you can open it up in Excel, copy and paste into your own mark book if you so desire. And this will work pretty much on any uh, quiz form. Okay.